capture, upgrade, and deploy it. That's the way in which any reasonable commander should react to armaments and military equipment captured from the enemy. However, it's quite easy to deal with a barrel of gunpowder, a cast iron cannon, or a wagon load of shells in such manner, but what would you do with a captured ship, or even the entire shipyard that built it? Here, the road from capture to deployment is long and winding. Today, I want to present you a ship with a difficult fate, German Tier 9 Premium Destroyer ZF-6. There was a time when she was the 11th ship in the La Hardy class series of French destroyers and was known by the name La Pinietre. The series was designed during the first half of the 1930s and featured outstanding speed characteristics. It was planned for these ships to escort brand new fast battleships Dunkirk and Strasbourg. La Pinietre was laid down at a shipyard in Bordeaux on August 1, 1939, but less than a year later, German troops occupied the city. The ship, which was 16% complete, became the property of the Third Reich and was renamed ZF-6 in February 1941. However, due to a lack of materials and sabotage by shipyard workers, construction was ceased in July 1943. After the war, the unfinished hull, which still remained on her stocks with her name reverted to La Pinietre, was scrapped for metal. The World of Warships engineers decided to finish the ship using the German project, which had planned to replace all of her armament with German models. As a result, we've obtained a pretty unusual ship that combines the destroyer features of two nations. Advantages of the ship Low visibility Short main gun reload time that can be additionally reduced using the main battery reload booster consumable armor-piercing shells with improved ricochet angles and high damage, fast torpedoes with high damage, a large set of consumables consisting of engine boost, smoke generator, main battery reload booster and defensive AA fire. Sure, the ship also has her downsides. The damage per minute of her high explosive shells isn't that high. Her torpedoes have high visibility and a short cruising range. If we need to describe the ship briefly, we can say that ZF-6 is a powerful and versatile destroyer. Thanks to her low visibility, effective armor-piercing shells and main battery reload booster, the ship can fight against enemy destroyers for control over key areas. But it's better to secure support from your allies when doing so. Her fast and powerful torpedoes can come in handy against heavily armored targets. The ship carries many useful consumables. Engine boost works well if you want to quickly change position, and smoke generator is useful for both retreating and firing at enemy ships while hidden. The destroyer is equipped with decent AA defenses that can be enhanced with a defensive AA fire consumable. Let's talk about upgrades. Main armaments modification 1. Engine room protection. If you want to enhance the main battery, choose main battery modification 2. To enhance the torpedo armament, choose torpedo tubes modification 1. Propulsion modification 1. Concealment system modification 1. To enhance the main battery, choose Main Battery Modification 3. To enhance the torpedo armament, choose Torpedo Tubes Modification 2. The bold and unusual combination of the ship's primary characteristics, combined with a large set of consumables, make ZF-6 a flamboyant figure in World of Warships that can bring enjoyable gameplay to her commander and give the enemy pause for thought with her mighty and aggressive attacks. Good luck, Captains!